we will see ectopic pregnancy ectopic pregnancy nu parna enda the pregnancy that occur other than the uterine cavity pregnancy that occur other than the uterine cavity eppozhum commonly occur eynadu tubal aarikkum appo ectopic pregnancy ku nammal otherwise we will see tubal pregnancy implantation or formation of fetus in the extra uterine structure so commonly occur in the fallopian tube so it is known as tubal pregnancy so what will be the risk factors if the woman who is using iud intrauterine devices or having pelvic inflammatory diseases they may be the risk factors for ectopic pregnancy if the mother is using mother was using iud or had any pelvic inflammatory diseases they are the risk factors for ectopic pregnancy we don't know the exact cause they are just risk factors okay now we will see the signs and symptoms so what will be the assessment so assessment we can say first subjective signs of pregnancy mother nella signs unda pregnant aanulla alle so mother pregnancy da sign odu kodu thaniyana hospital il povunnathu mother may lose her menstrual period and the hcg will be present so uh, or the positive pregnancy test and when they go to the hospital they may have some abdominal pain or ask for routine check up they will go and ultrasound shows that the pregnancy is in the tube okay so and abdominal pain will be there and vaginal spotting vaginal spotting dark red blood arikum ga to vaginal spotting will be there in case of rupture ipo nammal bedan kandu pidichilla rupture aayi kaiyal then it shows the signs of peritonitis like endokke peritonitis in the signs abdominal rigidity and shoulder pain referred shoulder pain right side then signs of shock so abdominal in case of rupture abdominal rigidity will be there and referred right shoulder pain and signs of shock signs of shock nan repeat cheyunnilla i hope all of you know the signs of shock okay so these are the signs and symptoms of ectopic pregnancy so how we can manage first we should monitor the vital signs that include the heart rate respiration and blood pressure then assess the bleeding pattern bleeding ulla or alku eppadi nammal endu cheyanam we should assess the bleeding pattern whether it is excess or not and we should send the hcg level cbc and should know whether hb and all is normal any signs of infection and what will be the hcg level so all the laboratory test can be done rh and uh, grouping and cross matching should be done in case of any emergency we may need to trans um, uh, we may uh, give the blood transfusions okay so we need to monitor or and type and cross match the things and keep it ready then we should administer methotrexate why methotrexate it is a folic acid antagonist why we are giving methotrexate it is a like uh, we give this medicine for uh, as a sort of chemotherapy and all it will inhibit the cell division manasilayo pettana pettana embryo namukku ariyam eh nammal implantation athokka padichu pettana 2 cell 4 cell 16 62 64 angane mitotic division aanu appo adu pettana divide aayi fetus rapid growth sambhavikkum adu korakkan venditaanu nammal ivide methotrexate kodukkunnathu it is a methotrexate is a folic acid antagonist and it inhibit the cell division of the embryo appo namaku aa or pregnancy namaku endu cheyam hold cheyya adinana nammal methotrexate kodukkum methotrexate two dose aayittaanu kodukkune one can be given at the time and one can be given after four days okay two dose aayittaanu kodukkune then prepare for laparotomy pettana laparoscopic surgeries allengi lapro laparotomy idinokka vendi nammal prepare cheyanam okay in case emergency situation ani we may need to um, uh, do the self injectomy or or self injectomy we can suck out the things or we may need to cut the tube so that depend upon uh, upon the condition of the mother okay 
in case of any shock or emergency we need to do the self injectomy and as we said rogam rogam is a rh immunoglobulin that we need to supply if the mother is rh negative okay if the mother is rh negative we need to supply rogam so that's all about the management of ectopic pregnancy